Hi, this is Russell Stunner from teachertrainingvideos.com. Today we're going to look at producing professional quality, high quality educational videos. Now, there's a lot of competition now because so much content being produced in education in the format of video. And I want to show you the technology that I use to create my videos, but also I actually make a lot of video content for other organizations, particularly around screen capture. So we're going to focus on the technology that I use, which is uh, Camtasia. I'm going to give you a real taster of just some of the things that Camtasia can do. So if you're thinking of buying it, you're going to find this video really interesting. Or if you're looking at ideas for making your videos a little bit more professional, then you really might like this video. We've organized it so that there's a menu system so that you can navigate if you go to the description and click and jump to different parts of the video. I really hope you find this useful. And as always, if you do, please like the video. Please share it with other teachers if you can, and of, please, and of course, please comment on it. Let's get started. So this is the recorder, and notice it's like a box, and I can decide how big or small I want it to be. In fact, I can choose from a whole range here of different sizes. That's normally the way that I do it, is that I choose a certain size. And notice also that I can have on my camera as well, and that means that I will be on the screen. And I'll leave that on so that you can see that. Notice also that it's got the audio here, and we've got this thing called systems audio on and that's a really useful button because it means it will record any audio that plays on your computer so for example let's say that you do a Camtasia recording of a video and that video has got some audio in it well then the Camtasia will pick up not only the audio coming from me from my microphone but also any audio that's played on my computer so let's do an example where we record ourselves talking over a PowerPoint slide so let's imagine that I wanted to record myself giving a, a lecture, for example. Obviously, this could be anything. I could be recording myself talking over some pictures or talking over a document or talking over um, some uh, graphs. It could be a whole combination of things. But I'm going to just record myself doing a quick PowerPoint presentation. Now, notice uh, that I've got a few interesting settings here. We're going to have the webcam on. We're going to obviously have the mic on. This one's really useful. When you have systems audio, it means that it records not only what you're saying through the microphone, but also any sounds that are played from the computer. So if you were recording yourself, for example, recording a video, then it would also pick up any sounds that were being played in that video. So that's really quite important. Once we got it lined up, notice I'm not going full screen and you'll see why in a minute. There's really no need to. It's much easier this way because I can control the slides that I'm working on as well. So I can kind of jump around through the slides. But when I click on the record button, then instantly it will start to record everything I say, everything I do, as well as me on the screen and if I jump to another page by just clicking like that then of course it will just record that as well so I can jump through the presentation really easily so let's just demo a couple of slides doing that so I'm going to click on this button here the recording is going to start don't take any notice of that that's just happening because I'm doing a Camtasia of a Camtasia the recording starts remember I'm recording in this area here so good morning ladies and gentlemen and uh, Nice to have you uh, in my lecture. What we're going to do today is we're going to focus on working with uh, digital technologies, but particularly with websites and blogs, and look how they can be used in the ELT classroom. I fundamentally, I'm going to ask three key questions, and those are, why might it be a good idea to get students to do blogs? Okay, what would the, are the benefits of that? What types of things can students do? What can they actually create? And how about teachers? How can teachers use blogs? Now I can pause at any time if I want and, and then click onto the next slide that way, okay? And then just carry on. I won't do any more, we've just done 43 seconds. I can click on stop now and you'll the see that immediately- Remember I'm recording in this area here. 
get a quick view of it. Now what I'm going to do, I could actually save that video and then do another video and do another one and do another one and then put them all together. Okay, but what I'm just going to do for this one is just show you immediately how we could then start to edit and augment the quality of this video with various things that we can do in Camtasia. So to do all that, all I need to do is click on save and edit. So I click on save and edit and that will immediately bring that recording into the Camtasia editing suite. And this is where I can really begin to have a lot of fun with the video. So there it is, you can see it on the screen now. Now one of the things that I can immediately do is I can decide how big I want this video to be. The standard size at the moment that we're kind of using for things like YouTube etc is this size here and what you can do is just then right click and click on scale to fit and it will kind of make the video bigger. Now let's show you a couple of lovely features immediately. What I've done here is I've recorded myself on the screen and I can make this a little bit bigger okay just to show you but I've got a green screen behind me which has been very equally lit up okay so what I can do now is come over to visual effects and I'm gonna remove a color and the color that I'm gonna remove is that kind of green kind of greeny blue color in the background now I'm actually colorblind but it doesn't matter I'm gonna click here and just click and then click and see it removes that color and if it does it really well then suddenly I'm now on the screen and if we play this video, you'll see what I mean. The recording starts. Remember, I'm recording in this area here. So, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, you can see now that I've kind of cut my background out. And that's a really nice feature that we've got in Camtasia. Now another thing that I could do with that video is almost just work out where is the starting point. I don't want it to start where I'm kind of talking before. I'm going to find the right place. The recording starts. Remember I'm recording in this area here. So, right, so I don't want that first bit. So I'm just going to select that and cut it. And I can delete that part of the video out. So now the video starts straight away. But what I'm also going to do is I'm going to add in a little introduction. So I'm going to come up to what we call the library and I've got various things including these intros. And actually there's a lot of these intros and the one that I used to use a lot and I'm going to use it now because it's so easy to use is this one called Spinning Computer. So what I can do is I can drag that on as my intro. Okay. And then I'm just going to pull that out a little bit further, put it in front. In fact, let's just put that down onto the first track. Okay, and then move this down. And what I'm going to do with the spinning computer is it just it plays this video, but I'm just going to click on it now and change that to Russell Stannard. So I can just click on it, on click on it, and change the text. So it says Russell Stannard instead of Camtasia. Sorry, I've just spelled that wrong. So now I'm going to have a really professional introduction. So let's just watch the video now. You'll see immediately that because of Camtasia, I've got all these options to make this video a lot more professional. So the video comes on. You get my name on it. The video comes off. Good morning ladies and gents and we're straight into the video okay so you can just see immediately how we can begin to augment the quality of the video now I'm going to show you another couple of features that I make a lot of use of just a really quick super interlude hope you're liking the video if you come over to teachertrainingvideos.com loads more free videos and there's a special section of Camtasia videos as well as a special offer if ever you decided you wanted to buy Camtasia you get a great discount uh, and it means if you're in education I think you pay $179 for the technology Please make use of the videos and of course if you want to follow my work sign up to the newsletter and at the moment if you sign up you also get a free six point or six part series about using technology in education. Right let's get back to the training. Now I could even add some music for example at the beginning of that. So again coming up to this library, this library is really handy. I've got things called tracks and I can click here and I've got loads of free tracks that I can use. Let's just have a quick listen to a couple of them. Not that keen on that one, let's just try another one.
Yep, I like that. So I'm going to use that then. So I'm going to drag that onto the screen. I'm going to have that as my introduction. Now I don't want it to be playing all the time. I just want it to be playing up until where I start talking. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to cut that video at that point and delete that part. I don't need that. Now another lovely feature that we've got here in Camtasia is we've got audio effects that we can fade the sound out at the end. So I'm just going to drop that on. I can even pull that along a little bit and decide where I want it to start. So let's just quickly look at how this suddenly augments again the quality of the video. Good morning ladies and gentlemen. Okay, very simple. Now, obviously I need to tidy this up. I've just noticed here there's a bit of a problem. Like what I can do is I can actually crop if I want to. Yeah, that obviously needed to get, just make that a little bit smaller in that way. That's gonna be a bit more professional. And you can even move that as well over to the right. Now it does require, of course, to learn to use Camtasia. And Camtasia is quite a sophisticated tool. I'm gonna to show you one more feature that I really like in Camtasia. So let's move along to another, sorry, let me just move the playhead along and I wanna to get to here. Now one, sometimes when the speakers, obviously I'm talking, I might wanna highlight something on the screen. We've got a couple of lovely tools and there are a few that you see me using all the time. This one I particularly like, okay, which allows me to kind of focus and just, and it draws, it's sketch mode, it's called sketch motion. Just let me play a little bit of that and just to show you what happens, look at this idea to get students to do blogs okay what would the are the benefits of that what types of things can students do what can they absolutely brilliant I love that feature okay and we have loads of these different tools so we can even drag a call out onto the screen if we want to say something okay and again we can you know point on that and I even get the option of changing the color of that call out if I wanted to do a different color in fact one of the things that I do which is a lovely little trick and I'm just going to show you is that I click on it and sometimes I'll get it to match something for example what I'm wearing <laughs> okay and you'll often see that in my videos I do that just to kind of make everything blend and look together now there are no loads of other features we can add real video in we can add pictures in we can add a lovely end in we've got all sorts of things like transitions we can obviously combine more and more videos onto the screen let me show you an example of a completely produced video Now, this video, as you can see, has got lots of little bits in it. You can also see lots of examples of me adding things onto the screen. You can see them coming on. You can see that idea here that I'm cut out. And in fact, what I've got in the background is a video playing. So I've got a video, if we come down here, you can see it, a video playing, okay, which is basically the earth, okay, and then I've put myself in front of it, but I've cut myself out so that it looks like I'm kind of sitting in front of. Now I'm not trying to claim that my videos are super high quality because they're not. I don't have top quality um, software and lighting, etc. I'm basically working from a little office in my house, but I've got fairly good lighting and a camera and a green screen, and it's, it's good enough to make a fairly good standard quality video and I make videos for organizations universities even publishing companies sometimes and they generally seem to be quite happy with the quality I'm not trying to make the claim that it's super high quality but you get an idea here and you can see that I've actually stitched together lots of little videos and the other thing that you'll notice here is that I have every so often in the video I have a little break where I kind of have a new title. And the titles are really easy. I just choose one of these here and drag it onto the screen and then add the text. You can basically see how I built this whole thing now. The idea, obviously the difference between the example that I've just showed you and this example is here I've got multiple videos that are on the screen. So when I've obviously not just made one video, but I've made lots of little videos and then I bring them all in and drag them 
are across the screen. So that's how I work. That's how you can use Camtasia. I really recommend it because I like the way that it does very good screen capture. It also deals with the webcam. It also allows you to do green screen. It also has a lovely library with lots of things like music and intros and outros. You can also add lots of call outs onto the screen as well. And the other thing is you can bring real video in. So if you've got real video content, you can bring that in and combine screen capture with real video okay really hope that video was useful please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com lots more free videos as I mentioned before there is a Camtasia section if you want to follow my work and keep up with the blog posts and the webinars and the online courses and the new videos then the best thing to do is to sign up to the newsletter you'll also get a six part video series on using technology in teaching and learning and of course you can sign up subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to click on the bell so that you get the notifications. And finally, if you want to contact me for me to do some training with your organization, perhaps in Camtasia or Moodle or Zoom, then you can contact me from the website. And thank you very much.